Hey team, welcome back. I am going to be doing a layout today for the scrap room and I'm going to be doing mixing the kits. So it's rather awesome. What I get to do is I have the pattern paper add-on kit right here. Got some fabulous papers and they're four different collections, super fun. So I have the embellishment kit, pattern paper add-on kit, and oh, but wait, I have the Shots of Life kit. And I just did a layout for Shots of Life, so I used up lots and lots and lots, which I thought was great. I used up almost two full pattern paper cut-apart sheets and a bunch of these stickers, and I used a bunch of the stickers, and then I used a bunch of the enamel dots. So let me show you kind of where I'm going with this. I have this photo. This is my oldest daughter and the Nick and my oldest daughter was in a wedding and it was beautiful and gorgeous and all that kind of thing. So here's a picture from that. When I was looking through this, it looked to me like this Vicki Booten Fernwood would be my best bet to go with this picture. I can show you my other uh, options. All right, let me take off my little mouse purse. I've got this cut apart sheet, which has all kinds of gorgeous cards and icons. And then we have a really nice blue smudgy paint on the background. I like this, the idea of using this hearth and home as part of my background. The only bummer is I really like these pieces, but we might have to work those two in. I'm kind of vibing that. Another piece from hearth and home. We have some doodlebug cuteness, another one by doodlebug, and then photo play and photo play. Great. For my embellishments that I have in here, I've got some Vicky Booten great, I guess they're thickers, but they're puffy. Got a whole pack of the Simple Stories, simple, what are they called? Simple pages. I've got an orange washi. I've got some of these. These are Photo Play N Notting Hill Bookstore. And then, like I said in here, I've got another washi. I've got this sticker sheet. A mostly used sticker sheet. Oop, oop, oop. I've got some enamel dots, super usable. I've got this piece, it's Hearth and Home. And then the Notting Hill Bookstore. So I get to make a layout using these goodies. So I also want to show you, I'm going to be working on the sketch of the month and it's this one right here. So let's see, we've got kind of a plain block and that's what I'm thinking for this here wood grain. And I'll, eh, will I turn it this way? I don't know. For the wood grain being the large block. Then we've got this deeper block up here and I'm feeling this gorgeous Vicky Booten Fernwood for the top. Then it looks like there's either washi or branding strips, a couple different kinds. So I'll look at my branding strips, see if anything works. And if not, I know I have washi. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Photo is right here, but what I think I would do, guys, where'd my photo go? Hmm, kind of need the photo for the photo explanation part. What I think I would do, do a do. Okay, so we have wood grain. We've got the top part, great. Got some kind of strip. Now the photos, they're showing them right here. My daughter is facing in this way. So yeah, it'll just be on that side. And then three embellishment clusters, title, love it. Susanna Lee came up with that sketch and she killed it, love it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try my branding strip from this bad boy, because I do think I want to go ahead and use that as my background. And I do tend to love pattern paper as a background, so that works perfectly fine. I wanna bring in some of this gorgeous Vicky Booten which, what's this one called? This is the Vicky Booten Flora and Fauna. And it's a good third of the layout. So I'll do a, a chunk or chunk. Great, right there. That's done. Now I have a brown washi. I have got an orange washi. Oopsie. This one's from the Shots of Life kit, the brown one is, and this one's from the embellishment kit. Look at how much washi you get with Doodlebug. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have that probably going towards the brown for the washi because 
My Vicky Boots colors are just a little less saturated than the Doodle Bug, unless I cover most of it. We'll see. And let's see. Oh, I like this branding strip right here too, this floral. So I'm going to bring that in. Let me see. You know what? Ah, I think I'm going to bring a piece of this, a piece of this coral and the washi. I think we're going to have all kinds of stuff going on. And that's cool. Because look at this, guys. This is gorgeous. If I have that going across. And yes, I know it's, it's pattern on pattern. It's all good. We're all going to make it. I'm going to make a slightly bigger piece of this more of a coral vibe. See how that breaks that up nicely? Oh, yes. So pretty. And then I think I'll do a little bit of depth with the brown. I might go over the two of them with the brown. I think I'll do it that way. Awesome. Great. So I have that. Then, then, then I have to trim my photo. I have to map my photo in, I don't know, some of this. And then what's that other Vicky Booten pattern paper look like? See, I don't know about bringing in too much of the deep, deep blue. I could because then it'll make Nick's suit pop a little bit. Okay, I think I'll do that. I just have to make sure not to cut into any of the cards I really am vibing on using. So I'll probably use another one of these cards to do the second picture right here. And as for these three blocks up here, I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Maybe embellishments, who knows? We'll figure it out in a minute. So I'm gonna start working on this and I'll come back when I have some traction. So I went ahead and cut out this little library card. I really liked that. I stacked the branding strip, that piece of pattern paper, this deep corally tone. It's a bit of a pinky coral, as well as this washi. So I like the vibe of that. Now I did show you this where Oops, am I even in frame? Okay, so I have this top part. I really like the florals left plain, so I don't know if I'm gonna add in these bits up there. But that's what's cool about sketches. Like seriously, if you turn the sketch like this and just have the photo like this, you have a whole nother sketch. And again, and again, so anyway, never mind. So what I think I'm gonna do is I like the photo here-ish. I like the deep blue sticking up. We did decide to go ahead and go with the deep blue. This cute little gosh I don't know what they are but they look like forget-me-nots I don't really know uh the those were from our journal card as well I just went ahead and cut them out thought they were a very pretty shade so I have that let's just go ahead and get in this little library card I'm going to tuck that not going to get too concerned about how even that one is because I have this one is yeah okay so I like that and if you see how this is there's one that's straight and one on the angle mine is just altered a little bit okay I like this I have a puppy who's about to yell at me to go out of the door all right go on blue go on go see red so what I'm trying to figure out next is I have these great puffies and I love it because we've got butterflies and we've got arrows and we have all kinds of things. So let's see. I, I do like Hello Life. That is great. I like in photos. I like document. I need a title here-ish if I'm working with the sketch. I don't want right here. Discover doesn't work. Oh, how about Stories of Us? Okay, I'm going to get Stories of Us put in. But I'm thinking... All right, let's just go ahead and put this one in flat as well. I want to pop something up. So I'm not exactly sure yet how that's going to go. But everything right now on my whole page is flat. So this will probably get popped up. I think we can do that right now. I just have some Cheap Kids craft foam sitting here on the side of my desk. So we pop that little whippersnapper up. I can get my title on, and then I want to come through and decorate with some of the other bits. So I like that I'm getting a little bit of dimension with that. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Let's go ahead and make a nice little strip. Let's see how far it'll have to go. There-ish. Voila. Super fancy with my voila-ing. Okay, I've got that. So then I'll have dimension on either side of my photo. This one reads beautiful view, which I think is gorgeous. 
Let's see, do I want it further down? Does this look like it's too far down? Kind of looks really far down, like it shimmied. I know it didn't, I know it's all me, but I think I want things up just a little higher. There we go. Feels a little bit better. All right, title on and we'll come back and decorate with some of these bits as well as I have some enamel dots also from my, my Shots of Life kit. Oh, and I have some of these stickers. So we have lots to decorate once I get my title on. I'll be right back. So let's see. I have my title on there. I have two pieces popped up so far. I know I wanted to look at some of these because they are gorgeous. This one kind of has the vibe of this. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Should probably have some kind of cluster here, but my fear is that it might get lost. The only saving grace I am seeing, though, is that there's a really nice white border around this. Is it enough? Yeah, we're going to decide it's enough. Then if I pop this one up on a little dimensional adhesive, that will let that one shine a little bit. And I will feel like I have some fun stuff going on. So that one can pop over that. Okay, like that, like that, like that. So... I have that kind of a threefer. This does get lost a little bit, but I do like the white. So it's fine. It's fine. Fine, fine, fine. I like that's a little bit of resting space for my little eyeballs. Get this extra piece of paper over there. All right, let's see. Leafy bits, butterfly bits. Butterfly bits would be really pretty in this. So I have a little bit, I think, butterfly bits there. There's two of them, so we can have that be kind of the two, one, two. Cute. I can do the third butterfly. The only issue is maybe if I have it here-ish. Yeah, because if I have it up here, it's just going to be eaten. We're not even going to see it. All right, do I want to bring in some of the gold? I do like the gold. The gold makes me happy. Let's see. Ooh, it can go right around the us and nestle in nicely. That's pretty. And then that allows me to have some gold brought in. All right, my butterflies are both like on the wonky, so I'm not going to do that one on the wonky. Here's a big heart. So I have gold, gold, and then I will do gold down here. It's almost tone on tone with this blonde wood grain, but it's fine. Fine, 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 fine. And do another heart here in one of the colors. I like that she did some of the puffies in colors as well. I think that was super smart, super awesome. So gold, 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 awesome. Now up in here, let's see, I have, I wouldn't mind having some of these poofies up in this cluster. So what do I want to do? Don't even have much left to do on this. So I can do a gold because it'll show. I think it'll show that it's a cluster situation going on as well. So another heart besides yellow. Ooh, I like this blue because you can really see it. And then let me come in with some enamel dots just because I can get some shine. I Now I love these little puffy bits that are included, but I have lots of the puffies, so I want a different texture, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Okay. So this reddish tone is pretty good with this. And I haven't used it yet, so I'm gonna put one of these in each of my clusters. Let's do that. And then I can have, yeah, I'll do that for the, like the eye and stories, because I didn't have, oh guys, I did have an eye. Oh no, hold on. I'll put it right there. Let me get this eye in here. I'm a disaster. Okay, let me get the eye in there. Okay, never mind. We have an eye. All right, so I have that. Let's do a white. White will work no matter what. And then we can do a little one. And then how about some of the navy since we are doing some of the navy? I'll do that. 
And then that's the same size. That's the same size. Ay, ay, ay. It is what it is, my friends. Need something a little bolder there anyway. And then I'll do it right here on that piece. All right. There is my finished layout. I am rather digging it. It's simple, but it's very pretty. It's a bit of an elegant kind of a photo, and I think it works absolutely beautifully mixing the kits. And I did end up using stuff from the pattern paper add-on from the Shots of Life kit, as well as, did I use anything from Shots of Life kit? I did. I used the washi. I did as well as the embellishment kit. So that was awesome. That was so fun to go ahead and create this. Did not use anything from the flavors of the month kits and I still have a nice full layout. Okay, down below, I will have the Scrap Room website as well as the Facebook group. And if you guys have any questions for me, pop them down and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye for now.